Good morning, Gato people. This is the start of a stylized grass tutorial for the Gato engine. In this video, we're gonna be creating our grass mesh in Blender and getting it ready to be imported. The next video will include the setup in Gato and the creation of the shader. That's gonna be dropping later this week. Keep an eye out for that. I'm working in Blender 3.5. Gonna be starting with just a basic plane mesh that we're gonna to add to our scene right here. Then what we wanna do is then rotate that 90 degrees, you can do that on the X or Y axis. We'll just do it on the Y. We wanna shape this plane mesh into a single blade of grass. And we can do that by scaling our mesh along the Y axis. You can change the shape however you want. I'm gonna be doing a 0.5. Now we're gonna move our grass blade up by one meter. Don't worry about the scaling or the size. You can always rescale uh, within Gato, or you can rescale it after the fact. It's just a little bit easier to work with when you're working and thinking in ones. Now we want to take this origin point, which is the center of our mesh, and we want to move that down here to the bottom of our blade. Now we have our 3D cursor within Blender, so what we can do is right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. That's going to move that right there to the bottom. Now in order to shape our blade of grass, what we can do is go into edit mode, by hitting tab, I'm gonna do this a loop cut on our plane mesh right here. What I like to do is do it by half going up so we get a little bit tighter at the top, add one more to the bottom. And you can add as many of these cuts as you want. Obviously the more cuts that you make, the more complex your mesh is. And these aren't complex meshes, but we're gonna be instancing this grass thousands of times. So the simpler you can make it, the better. With my loop cuts, I'm gonna now select my different vertices and we're gonna scale it with S and just shrink it down just a little bit. Give us kind of this grass-like shape. Now, however you want to do this. And then for the final two points, I'm actually going to go to mesh, merge at center. And that's gonna combine those two vertices into one. And we also want to shape our grass. So let's go ahead and grab our different vertices here and we'll just shift these out a little bit. And finally, the tip right there. And there's our really basic looking grass. Okay, now we want to unwrap our mesh and it's gonna look a little funky until we apply all the transform that we've done to our mesh. So we'll go to Object, Apply, all transforms. And what that does is it resets the scale of our mesh to 111. And all the adjustments that we've made are now set. So now we can go to our UV editing tab, make sure that we're in the face select mode, press A to select all, right click, and then unwrap all of our faces. You'll now see the mesh has been unwrapped over here on our UV map. And that's all you need to do for that. The UV is important because we're going to be using that for our shader and in the future for our wind. Now go back to our layout. We're going to add a modifier and duplicate our blade of grass. It's going to be better if we can include more blades in one single mesh. So we'll go to the modifier, add modifier and array. You can already see we've got a duplication of our blade. We're going to do this, let's say 10 times. There's our 10 blades, and we're gonna do this actually in the same spot. So you can't see these, but they're all there because when we do our randomized transform, we want all the blades of grass to be coming from the same point in our mesh. Now we can apply our modifier, and now that we've applied it, we can go back into edit mode by pressing tab, press A to select all, and then we're going to separate by loose parts. And what this is going to do is take each one of those duplications and create a separated object within Blender. And now that everything is separated, we can randomly transform these. So we'll go back out into object mode and make sure that we select all of our objects. And we can go to object, transform, randomize, transform. You'll have this little window pop up down here, open that up. So instead of having to manually place all of these blades of grass, you can just let Blender do it. And you'll see once we start adjusting our angles here, we're already getting a little bit of randomization. Okay, so I've done some randomization on my location, rotation, and scale. 
it looks pretty bad right now, but that's okay. We're just trying to get a beginning to our randomization process that we can then go in and manually adjust all of these different blades. And in terms of look, it's sort of, you know, everything's coming out from the center, but you want it to be a little bit more spread out and that all coming from a singular point. Go ahead and do this process how you like. I'm going to adjust this and I'll be right back. There's my grass mesh. Yours might look a little bit different. That's totally okay. And again, there's a lot of different ways that you can construct this mesh. Now that we have all of our blades of grass adjusted how we want, we want to actually combine them back into one mesh. And how we can do that is select all, go to join, and now we've got one mesh. And the cool thing is, even though we have all of these different blades of grass, all of them are still using the same UV position, which is important for our shader and later on for our, our wind mechanic that we can introduce. Before we save and export this, we're going to apply all of our transformations one more time. All transforms. Now there's one final step before we export our mesh, and that is the normals. We want all of our normals to be pointing straight up. There's a reason that we're going to do this, and you're going to see it later on, the difference that it makes. Select your mesh and go into edit mode. In this drop down for our viewport overlays, you notice our normal options down here. We're going to click this middle one right there. You can see the direction that all of these normals are pointing. We want all these bad boys to be pointing straight up. You can do that by selecting all, going to our mesh, normals, and then point to target. Once you click, you're going to get this point normals to target option. And we're going to be pointing this way, way, way up to the sky. So set the value of Z something extremely high. And you'll now notice that all of our normals are pointing exactly in the direction that we want. Now for the export, I'm going to be using the GLB file type. And you can export this right into your Gato project. We'll call this grass. And then on the right side, just make sure that your data includes all the UVs and the, the normals and everything else. We're not using vertex colors for this but you can if you would like to. We'll export that, and then we can head into our Gato project. All right, guys, we're going to leave the video there. We'll continue this in the next video. If the video was helpful, leave a like. And hey, you made it this far. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We've got lots of Gato content, some Let's Plays, some showcases, lots of cool stuff. So check it out. And until next time, keep creating.